Josh Duggar and his legal team request for a sentence hearing extension has been answered. Plus, we got more Duggar news. What's up, guys? I'm your host, Nicholas Gonzalez, with another episode of Counting Duggars this week. Now, before we begin today's video, I need you to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below for all the latest on your favorite celebs. But all right, let's do things a little bit different this week and start the video off with the Duggar social post of the week, which goes to the Duggar family Instagram account because they just congratulated Jeremiah Duggar and Hannah on their big wedding. The caption reads, we were so happy to celebrate with Jeremiah and Hannah at their beautiful wedding yesterday. Congratulations on this exciting new chapter in your lives as husband and wife. Now the Bates family also reacted to the news on their Instagram account saying, what a gorgeous bride and groom. But all right, let's move on to the news now and start with Jill Diller because she just gave an update to fans. And Jill's big news is this. She has revealed that she is going to be welcoming a baby boy into the family. She and Derek made the announcement on their blog days after dealing with COVID-19 and reportedly expressed health concerns over their child. But okay, we're gonna switch gears now to a more serious topic and talk about Josh Duggar. Recall, Us Weekly previously confirmed he has filed a motion to delay his sentencing. Well now, according to KTLA, that motion has been granted. Duggar and his legal team extension has now pushed the sentence hearing date from April 5th to May 25th. And recall, Duggar can face up to 20 years in prison and fines up to a quarter million dollars for each of the two counts. Now that's it for today's video. Let us know in the comments which Duggar family member you would like us to talk about next. And also don't forget to hit the sub, like, and bell button down below for all the latest on your favorite celebs. Bye guys.